you guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, whatever it is. Today, I have been a little lazy. Um, I haven't gotten ready yet and it's like three o'clock, but my parents are coming to town and me and my boyfriend Joseph are gonna go eat dinner with them. I figured I would get ready and just show you guys what I usually do when I wear makeup. I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do, it's most likely some version of what I'm going to show you. I just wanna say that I am in no way, shape or form a makeup artist or beauty guru, so um, this is kind of just stuff I've been doing since I basically started doing makeup, so I don't know if I'm doing it right or what, but, um, yeah, I just thought I would put that out there. Um, I already did my skincare routine. I'm just gonna pull back my hair. All right. So, to start off, the primer I'm using is this NYX primer. It's the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Matte Primer, and I kind of recently just got this, and, whoa. And I don't know if it's just mine, but like the consistency on this thing is kind of whack. It's just, it literally just fell off my hand. But the way it comes out is very like, not like almost crumbly. And I really like how my makeup looks when, you know, it's on top and it makes it stay really long. But sometimes if I don't let like my moisturizer set in, it'll almost like peel off my skin. There's the biggest fly in my room. How does a fly even get in here? Whatever. So like right now, I don't know if you can see this or that. It's like crumbling off my skin, which is pretty gross, but it does the job. If anyone has tried this primer, please let me know if I'm the only one or not. And just to kind of further help this from crumbling off my face, I like to let this sit in my face. So usually I'll do my eyebrows. For my brows, I'm just using the Anastasia Dip Brow. And then I'm using a little mirror. I normally have to be like super up close and personal with my eyebrows when I do them. So um, wish me luck. Well, well, we'll call that good. Eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not, not twins, right? Mine are definitely like strangers, but you know, that's okay. If you're looking for an eyebrow product that lasts literally all day, definitely try that one out. It lasts so long, super waterproof, but it's super easy to take off when you're using like makeup remover or face wash or something like that. So for foundation and concealer, um, I'm using the Candid Photo Ready Concealer and Foundation from Revlon. I actually really, really like this. And I put on my concealer first just because I didn't wanna buy two concealers. And so I just bought like a lighter one to put under my eyes. And so if I were to put this on top of my foundation, then like I have weird like light patches. And then taking a beauty blender, I'm just gonna start to blend them out. I don't blend them out all the way, just cause I feel like it looks a little better when I leave a little bit of it unblended and then my foundation to blend it in two. You know, I've grown up watching like makeup tutorials and like YouTubers do their makeup and everything. And I could not tell you what they talk about. I don't know what to talk about. Oh well. I do have a mirror over here, so that is why I'm probably looking in this direction for the entire video. All right, well, that's probably the best it's gonna get. Um, and kind of just like everything else, I like this to set for like five or so minutes while I do my eyeshadow um, before I put powder on it. I just feel like it really helps it not look super cakey. For my eyeshadow, it's pretty simple. You know, it is so dangerous doing makeup in a white jacket. For my eyeshadow, I almost always start with whatever bronzer I'm using that day. And so today I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Bronzer in Medium. So I always put that just as like a base layer. Um, in my crease. I don't know why. I feel like it's kind of like matching your shoes to your belt or something. It just makes sense in my head. I'm just gonna blend that out and then eventually um, I'm gonna put it in my lower lash line. I'm gonna wait until I set the rest of my face before I do that. Next, I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia. I'm going to be taking like a mixture of these three shades. It's Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, and Golden Ochre. They're basically the three shades I use every single time. And I'm just kind of putting that in my crease as well, but just like a little bit lower, just to add like definition. And then after that, I'm just gonna take that big fluffy brush I had in the beginning and just use that to blend everything together. And then next, I'm taking Cypress Umber, which is this dark brown. Usually, 
or I used to mix it with warm taupe, but I don't have any more, so. Now it's just the dark brown. And then I also dragged this where I put those other three colors just to add. Oh my gosh, this is itching so bad. I hate when my face itches and I'm wearing face makeup because then I just scratch it all off. So after I put the brown, I'm just going to blend it out again. So that is basically it for my eyeshadow. I am gonna add more on my lower lash line, like I said after I set my face, but I don't usually add anything on my lids just cause I really don't like sparkly eyeshadow on my eyelids, um, at least for like everyday look. But before I set my face and then finish my eyeshadow, I just like to take my beauty blender and kind of blend out areas that might've already creased. So like under my eyes, maybe on my forehead, and around my nose. And then for powder, I'm using the Stay Matte from Rimmel. I can find it. I do have banana powder, but normally the only time I will bake certain areas of my skin is when I'm doing like a more glam look or if I'm going to be wearing makeup for like a really long time. So now I'm doing bronzer. It's that one I showed you earlier. It's the NYX matte bronzer in medium, kind of putting it everywhere. And then just taking what's like left on our brush, I'll put it like around my nose, but I don't really pay too much attention to contouring down there or up there. So after bronzer, I'm putting on a little blush. I used to really hate blush. I feel like for the most part, most people either hate blush or love blush. But recently I kind of just got into it. I feel like it's really completed like my look, at least for my face. Um, and I just use the Laura Geller Baked Blush. It's in Tropic Hues. And then for highlight, I'm usually I will use two. So to start out, I will use um, Tiki from Hard Candy. It was like that super popular highlighter from like 2010. I will always use that kind of like as a base. Um, and I also go in with like a little bit of a more precise brush to get my brow bone and my inner corners. But I'll almost always use this as a base just cause it's got like a nice shimmer to it. But usually I'll go in with like a more not dense, but one that's got a little more sparkle to it. I actually just take the Primavera shade in the Modern Renaissance palette, which is honestly probably all out if you take a good look at it, but I'm still telling myself there's some something in there. I'm also going to be taking those three I used earlier and just drag everything down my lower lash line. I have pretty long eyelashes, I would say, naturally, but especially on my lower lash line. But basically, I just put kind of a, not a lot, but like more than normal, I feel like, on my lower lash line. That way, um, you can tell the difference between my eyeshadow and my eyelashes. I feel like if I don't put enough or if I strictly put it along my lash line, then <clears throat> my eyelashes kind of cover it up. But... For eyeliner, honestly, I don't wear it every single day. I mean, every single time I wear makeup. But when I do, I almost always use my blonde dip brow or my old um, soft brown one just cause they're shades of brown. So I feel like they're a little more less harsh um, for everyday makeup in my opinion. And I just really like how it looks. But moving on to mascara, I'm just gonna curl my eyes. My eyes for my eyelashes. My all-time favorite mascara, I couldn't tell you how many tubes of this I've gone through, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. If you have not tried this mascara, it is my most favorite product in my entire makeup routine. It is so, so good. I used to wear the waterproof version, but I wouldn't always have something to take my makeup off and sometimes face wash doesn't get off waterproof mascara as well. And so I switched to just regular mascara and honestly it wears just the same in my opinion and it like keeps my eyelashes curled. All right, and the absolute last thing I do is put on some lip gloss or basically lip balm. I'm not a huge lip gloss person. My favorite lip balm right now, at least, is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. Um, I didn't even know they made it in a tube version until I was at Ulta, like, a couple months ago. I thought they used to only carry it, like, in the little, like, aluminum tins. I thought they only carried them in those little jars, and I really hate dipping my fingers in things and putting it on my lips, but I found that one, and I really love it. 
my eyebrows still look so uneven. All right, you guys, so that completes my everyday makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more videos and let me know what videos you want to see me make. Um, but other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's not for me to say.